guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're doing something a little bit different i'm going to be cleaning my house from top to bottom a very deep clean i'm going to take you guys through my cleaning routine and how i get everything spotless and clean i will basically take you guys through how i clean i'm going to do a combination of like talking to you all and also voiceover um because i like to clean to music so i'm going to put like some salsa on uh, maybe some merengue something that'll really lift up my energy so i am starting with the top of the house i always like to start from top to bottom so the loft is the top level of the house it's not that dirty but basically i'm just gonna dust i am going to sweep vacuum mop and kind of organize uh things like this shouldn't be here kind of organize my makeup put my shoes away things like that this is honestly my favorite area to clean because it's very easy because there's not much here and it's my creative space so when it's clean i feel like it gives me my creativity a little bit let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i like to do is put things where they belong so if i have things on my desk or if I have clothes that is kind of just laying around, I like to put those away so that way I have a clearer space to work with. Um, and then once everything is put away, that's when I begin to clean surfaces. So I use this Myers multi-surface cleaner and I love it because it smells delicious, but also you can use it on any surface. So it's very convenient. So after I um, clean all the surfaces, that's when I like to begin to dust. This particular duster that I have is from at home and it's quite effective when it comes to picking up dust. But what I like to do is I dust the areas and then I clean them with whatever um, surface cleaner I have handy. And then I love doing that because basically if the duster didn't pick up uh, all of the dust, then it likely lands on the floor, which is totally fine because then you'll use the vacuum to really clean up the space. I really like dusting the rails because they get super duper duper dusty and now I'm going to continue to clean the mirror. I like cleaning any other surface that I miss such as mirrors or any other tables. So once the mirror is nice and clean that's when I start to clean the floors. So as you can see the loft is pretty simple because it's not there's not a lot of furniture out there there's not a lot to work with so it's really really easy to clean. So I start by vacuuming this little carpet that I have and I love this vacuum because it has the option to vacuum high carpet which in this case since this carpet is very textured um, it works well with this carpet so I roll it on up move it out of the way and then I like to begin to sweep in corners that my vacuum wouldn't be able to reach if I planned ahead I usually like to put the debot to clean whatever room I'm going to clean ahead of time so that way it's less work for me to swiffer or to sweep and then mop but in this case I didn't really plan ahead so I had to uh, sweep myself which is totally fine I totally enjoy it <laughs> so I just like go into the corners and then I basically bring all the dust and dirt to the center of the room and then I vacuum it all up and then once I'm done vacuuming I just mop the floors with the Swiffer Jet this floor isn't that high maintenance so you can really use really anything to clean this type of floor so I just use a Swiffer Wet Jet So now that the loft is all done, what I do is I begin to sweep the loft stairs all the way to the bottom. And I do want to make a note that when I sweep the stairs, please don't be alarmed by all the hair. We do have a lab beagle mix, so she sheds a lot. So I kind of just let all of the dust and hair kind of pile up at the bottom of the stairs before I actually vacuum it because I want to dust the remaining uh, areas of the room. So in this case, I'm just dusting the nightstands and our lamps. That's really on the only furniture that we have along with this mirror. So I like to dust the mirror before actually cleaning it with Windex because because again our dog hair gets caught on the mirror so I want to get rid of the hair first before I actually clean the mirror if not I'm cleaning the mirror with her hair I hope that makes sense so I just clean the mirror and then I like to take out as much as I can 
of the room like I like to move things out of the way so that I can get a clearer area of the floor so I move the mirror out I move out our laundry bins and then this gives me more floor space to work with I like sweeping in corners that my vacuum will be able to get to and kind of just bring all the dust and the dirt to the center of the room and then I just vacuum it all up so I vacuum the carpet first and then I kind of lift the carpet so that I can get under the carpet um, and vacuum under there and pick up as much hair and dust as I can so I basically just vacuum the entire room and then I go ahead and use the Swiffer wet jet to clean the floors and then while the floors are drying I go ahead and clean our bathroom so just like most of the rooms in the house the way that I like to start cleaning is by taking everything out I take out the rugs I take out everything that's on the um, sink area our toothbrushes anything that's there I like to take out that way I get a clearer space to work with and I start by using this Clorox Comet powder and put it all over our bath floor um, I like doing this first because I like letting it sit so that's basically the last thing that I it's the first thing that I do and then it's the last thing that I do because I really want the Clorox uh, powder to just you know work its magic and really um, dry up there so while that's there I clean the mirrors and then I also clean the bathroom sink and I like using a bleach spray a spray that has a little bit of bleach because I feel like white countertops can get really um, they can get stained with a lot of different things throughout the week so I like using something with bleach because I feel like it gives me the best results and I also use this to clean the handles which I'm not sure is the best idea because these are stainless steel but so far I haven't had any issues they clean it very very nicely so I also cleaned the toilet but I didn't want to show that because I just feel like that's kind of nasty so I do clean the toilet the same way I did the sink but I also clean inside as well with the toilet spray or the toilet um, cleaner so I just use a sponge to scrub the bathtub floor and then I let the water run a bit to kind of drain everything through and then I sweep the bathroom floor and I also Swiffer wet jet it because I, you know, want our floor to be nice and clean. And then I usually like to put our bath rugs in the wash and then let them dry and then put them back. But that's basically how I clean our bedroom and our bathroom. Super easy and quick, just the way I like it. So now it's time to move to the living room, dining room area. And these are the stairs that lead to that area. So I like to sweep them first, you know, to pick up any hair and dust that gets trapped in here. And it's crazy, guys. Like, I was not joking when I said Dakota sheds a lot. This is all of the hair that I picked up just from the stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the living room area. I like to take everything off of the coffee table. And then I like to dust it before I go in with Windex to actually clean it. Again, with all my glass top areas, I like doing that because I don't want to spread any dust or um, any hair. I like to dust and then clean it with the glass cleaner. So I'm going to go in with this Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. And I'm going to spray this all over the carpet and also all over the couch and pillows. This powder is life-changing, guys. If you have a pet, I would highly suggest this powder. It gets rid of any pet odor. Even if you think your pet doesn't smell, I promise you they do. All pets have like a particular order odor and this gets rid of it 100%. So I just put that all over there and I let it chill for like 15 minutes and then I go in and vacuum up the couches. I vacuum up all of the pillows and then I also vacuum the carpet. Once the living room is done, I put everything back. I go ahead and vacuum the living room wooden floors. 
and then once I'm done vacuuming I just spray Bona and then I use a mop to mop the floors I wasn't able to catch a clip of that because my camera died so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the dining room area I basically dusted the chairs and moved them over so I can get a nice clean floor area so that I can get in all of the crevices and with the vacuum so I basically vacuumed the wooden floors and also the carpet and of course before doing this I went ahead and cleaned the um, dining room table so this is the bonus spray that I use for this floor and this is a particular mop that I use I feel like this floor is super sensitive so the less product you use the better this bona cleans the floor so so well so you don't even need to spray a lot it's just like a couple sprays and then because this mop is clothed I feel like it does such a good job at picking up all of the nastiness on the floor so basically I put everything back the chairs everything that was on the dining table and dining area is done so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the kitchen area and I actually had to clean the kitchen on a separate day that's why I'm wearing something completely different because I was so tired I couldn't finish the kitchen so I had to finish it on the day after so the first thing I do is put all the dishes away here I'm not washing the dishes I'm just loading the dishwasher so once the dishes are loaded I put them to wash and then I move on to the uh, oven top I use this glass cooktop cleaner and I spray it all over and then I use a damp towel to kind of just make sure that it gets on every area of the stove top so I let it sit there for about 20-30 minutes and I let this sit while I move on to other areas of the kitchen so I basically move on to clean out the fridge and I basically take all the food out and clean the shelves of the fridge I also like to make sure that we're not keeping any expired food in the fridge so I get rid of any food that's expired it sucks it feels so I feel so bad throwing food out but if it's expired it's just not good to have it in there so I just toss them and then I also cleaned the pantry. I didn't show you guys exactly how I cleaned it because it took me a really long time organizing everything, but I plan on doing a pantry organization video once everything is more organized. There's still a couple things that I wanna do. So then I come back and take off all of the um, stovetop cleaner off of the stovetop and it tends to get pretty dried out, which is good because it'll take off like all of the burnt like nastiness that's on the stove top and then I just like going through it with like a damp towel then I clean the microwave I take out like the glass um, that's in there the glass uh, glassware I guess you, you would call it that's in there and then I kind of just um, scrub it inside of it with the uh, dish soap scrub and water and then I dry it out I've realized that it's best to do the microwave first so that all of the dirt falls on the oven and then you can clean it all at once because after I clean the microwave I had to go in and clean the stove top again because some of the dirt fell out but it's all right then I like to use uh, these stainless steel wipes that clean stainless steel these are so so good if you guys have stainless steel appliances these wipes are great because they get rid of any grease and any like dust on the stainless steel area but you do have to go in with a dry towel afterwards so I do that on all of the appliances that we have that are steel and then I clean the countertops so for the countertops, all I use is water and alcohol mixed together. This is my favorite formula to use because I feel like the alcohol helps with, you know, sanitizing the countertops and then it also helps with bringing back the shine of the countertops. On occasion, I use like the Myers multi-surface one, but I try to be as careful as possible with the countertops, you know, because I want to protect them and just make sure that they last. So water and alcohol are usually my go-to. And then I go around and clean the cabinets. Since we have white beige cabinets, they tend to get dirty really fast. So I just use an antibacterial wipe to clean off any stains, any grease, anything like that. It takes me a while, but it's definitely worth it. Then once I'm done with that, I basically just sweep and Swiffer Jet and then the kitchen is done.
So the last area of the house that's left to clean is the entryway. And again, I like to start by putting everything where it belongs. So if there's shoes on the floor, I put the shoes in the shoe cabinet. I also get rid of the rug, I vacuum it and put it in the living room for right now just so that I can have the space more open and uh, it's easier for me to clean the floors. So I dust the shoe cabinet top and I also dust the lamp. And then I go ahead and clean the mirror uh, with just some Windex. I clean it on up and then I go ahead and sweep the floors, mop. And then once I'm done mopping, I go ahead and put the carpet back and we're done. That is basically how I clean my entire house. Now I do want to make a note that we do have a basement, but I don't consider that like in my cleaning routine because we're not there that frequently. So we only clean the basement like once every two weeks or so. This is more so of my weekly cleaning routine. So I just wanted to share this part of my routine with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel so you can stay tuned with everything else that I post. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,